Hi. And yes, <laughs> I am wearing socks because today is Saturday and it's cloudy outside. And also, I just want to paint at this point. So, I have this painting. Well, it's not actually a painting, it was done with soft pastels. And I found out I can activate it with alcohol. And it's supposed to be a mountain. But I was like, you know what? I don't like it. So let's just mess it up. <laughs> because why not? Because every time I keep looking at it, it's just like, all right, I need to, I, <laughs> I, I need to mess it up. So again, I'm working on the floor. It's not a very good workspace. But, you know, we have to do what we have. Until I can upgrade to a desk space. <laughs> so, I'm using this impasto, or called modeling paste here. This is by Arslaw. All of my, you know, acrylic paints, uh, my palette knives, all that stuff. Um, they're from uh, Arslaw. And all this stuff is from Michaels. So what I'm doing here is that um, I decided to do an acrylic painting using impasto. Oops. <laughs> and and what impasto is is this thick modeling paste that you can use for your paint. And as you can see here, I'm just mixing it in with my palette knife, and it's going to create these thick textures, like these nice thick peaks. And as you can see, I'm just messing it up my canvas as usual. <laughs> so, again, all I'm doing is that I have like a bunch of like palette knives there that I don't use, but I but I like using that. Also, um, a metal palette knife is a lot better than a plastic one because you know you're. Your pasto is not going to like stick. As you can see here, I'm kind of like messing around. And that's what I like doing a lot, because I don't really have a thought whenever I start painting. And also, I like doing abstract art because it's fun. I feel like a lot of times it has to, it has to uh, be. I guess it has to deal with like emotions and a lot of times that my emotions are usually just neutral. In here, I'm just wiping it off. You can't really see it. But I'm wiping off the um, impasto that I have here. Uh, with the paper towel. Also, I'm using parchment paper too as well. I think parchment paper is a lot more better than using uh, my art palette that I have because uh, it's not clean <laughs> and it's very dirty and I don't want to sit in waste having to scrub have to clean off the paint but parchment paper is a lot more easier because I can just crumble up my paper crumble up the parchment paper which is used for like cooking if you're doing like for like baking like if you're baking cookies so it's easy so you don't have to put your your cookies on like a non-stick pan but yeah it's easy and what I can do I can just take that and I can uh, crumble it away again I'm just messing around here I'm just doing whatever because it's a cloudy day it's a nice cloudy day around 10 I think I started this around 10 o'clock and yeah it felt like a nice day to ruin the painting like I just got tired of it but I would definitely would like to look forward more into using uh, soft pastels no I have used them well actually no I haven't it's my first time using soft pastels and I remember using oil pastels and that was just back in art class back in high school but I really I kind of like both 
they both have their advantages and disadvantages. But I've seen a lot of people, whenever I look at like oil pastels, I see a lot of people who uses or favor more in oral pastels and soft pastels because you don't have to deal with all like the chalk. Well, the ones that I have that I use for the canvas, as you guys can see here, um, but yeah, <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. But anyway, uh, <laughs> here's what I have. All right, let's keep going on. It's me trying to figure out like what else to talk. And like, like what else am I supposed to say? Like, I'm just ruining. I'm just ruining my painting. And I'm just picking up random colors. I don't really have like a thought when it comes to these type of things. I just pick out colors. I'm very selective when it comes to colors. And all I'm doing is just um, in, in a pasta painting, and that's it. Because I feel like there's not really enough of pasta paintings out there. I don't know, I just feel like there's never really enough of anything. <laughs> like there's a lot of like acrylic I'm not sure, do people use acrylic? I think people, I don't know. I might have to look. Like acrylic uh, paintings, uh, abstract paintings. But yeah, I also was thinking about um, looking into other materials. I had this one idea, make another abstract painting or abstract work on canvas and use charcoal but I might have to do like a thumbnail I have that that's the thing when it comes to like my ideas I always have the audacity to stick with one idea but not flesh out more so that's why you have to do you know thumbnail thumbnail sketches so you can get all your thoughts down and again I'm just using impasto here going around the board I feel like all of my paintings well most of them are digital I do a lot of digital uh, and these are done on Procreate I do a lot of digital abstract works on Procreate but I think it's really nice to take a break from you know the digital aspect and start focusing more on traditional because I spend a lot like a lot like sorry I spend a lot of time doing digital stuff because I'm so used to doing my, you know, the undo buttons and using the eraser tool uh, when I'm using uh, um, I'm Procreate here. But, um, but I think it's nice to go back and and uh, go to traditional. And I think it's really nice because it's really, it's really nice. You know, just take a break. Just take a break from, you know, the air net and whatever. And just sit down and sketch. Because that's what I used to do. I used to do like a lot of sketches. And then after that, once I got a drawing tablet, my first drawing tablet, and then that's when I kind of like switched over. But yeah. And again, like I'm saying, all I'm doing is adding more and more stuff to it. And all I'm just doing is just showing you guys the process of how I work. This is basically how I work. No sheet under me when the paint falls. Because I'm very careful. I'm very careful. I don't really think about composition when using, like, you know, the elements of art. And then, you know, the principles of art and design. I think it's really interesting because I really don't do that. I don't think about composition. And then I just like jump in and do it. 
been looking at a bunch of contemporary artists this year. I saw some very good ones. But hopefully, and I think what I'm doing, I'm just, you know, covering it up. It's kind of like graffiti. I'm just covering up my mistakes. I don't know how that ties into graffiti. Maybe, well, actually, yeah. But may, well, maybe I am, you know, messing up. I was thinking about vandalized, but I don't think that's a nice word to use for my paintings. I am vandalizing and I am destroying my art. I think it's nice. I think it's really nice that I'm kind of messing up my paintings. But what's even better is that as I was working on it, I think it was really nice to sit down and not have to worry about, you know, how perfect it's going to be. I think all of my works are just very sporadic. You know, you just sit down and, you know, I'm just having fun. That's all I'm doing. I'm just sitting down having fun and not having to worry about how perfect it is. And now I'm adding more impasto. And I'm using a darker blue here. And this one is a metallic blue. I was supposed to get another darker blue. So I'm using a, uh, a metallic blue. I don't think metallic... I feel like metallic pink is like not all that shiny. I don't know. But yeah. But later, I'll be adding um, gold. I have like gold paint. Uh, the last abstract work that I've done... I've done uh, gold into it. I would like to try gold leaf. I would like to mess around and try different materials. Maybe next time I will search around my room and, and find whatever stuff to use. And here it is.
so now I'm going to keep adding in more paint I think my whole goal is to um, just cover up the whole entire thing and probably come up with a name I did come up with the name until I forgot what that name was <laughs> so that's fun honestly I think I just come up with just random names when it comes to paintings I feel like it has no really um, it's not uh, representation representational art is that what it is representational I can't think I maybe that's it I don't know I don't know maybe is, it, is that what it is representational also uh, as you can see I'm sacrificing my thumb here because I didn't know where else to scrape the impasto at so yes, I'm sacrificing my thumb. It looked very cool. It looked really cool once it dried. And then it just started peeling off. <laughs> Sometimes we have to sacrifice one of our fingers to cut the impasto on. Also, one thing that I don't like... I don't know, I thought about as I was painting, I felt like a picky eater. It's like, you know how people don't like how like their food touching each other that's basically what it felt like like I just don't like paint or I just don't like impasto touching other or like just other places or I just don't like my you know my paint touching my other paint I don't know I absolutely do not know but it just kind of felt like that like oh I don't like it like oh my blue is touching my pink or oh my green is touching uh, whatever color I have and I, I don't know why I just, I just don't like it Maybe that's a personal problem <laughs> Maybe it feels like a personal problem. Maybe I should get that checked out <laughs> But yeah Scraping my thumb with the impasto also one thing I do like about it. It's like it's cold. It feels cold Probably because my room is cold. I don't know maybe but I really like how when I put impasto on the canvas and then I feel it from the bottom of the pre-stretched canvas at the bottom I'm like it just feels cold it just feels nice it's a very cool canvas also uh, I think impasto takes a long time to dry if I'm not mistaken it's kind of like oil paint it just reminds me of oil paint it just takes a long time to dry I am like acrylic paint and when I first took my my first painting class in college um, they will teach you how to use acrylic paint first because well I don't know well well with oil paint Oil paint takes a long time to dry, which which is kind of easy because you can like go back and like refix stuff like again and again. But one thing I do like about acrylic paint is that you can activate it with water, which I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of like watercolor because I like to think that acrylic paint and watercolor has like the same binder, but not really. They don't really have the same binder made maybe maybe <laughs> it's funny that you know I took an art appreciation class and they teach you all this stuff like oh you have to learn the, you know the medias you have to learn painting you have to learn you know a bunch of wood cuts you have to learn about lino cuts you have to learn about silk prints you know Japanese wood blocks and all that stuff which I think is very interesting and these are the classes I you know took in college it's very interesting but it's also a really nice refresher to as well it's really nice the very first impasto painting that I done this was in my painting class my first uh, painting class for my beginners 
painting class that I took. And we had to do desserts. So we had to use impasto. Because I didn't know. I mean, I thought we had to use everything <laughs> with impasto. But I thought it was really interesting is when, you know, I shared it uh, with the class. And when everybody was sharing, you know, their paintings. And this, and this was online. Sorry. Uh, this was online. I took an online uh, painting class. But I thought it was interesting that we have to incorporate uh, impasto into our work. And I just did a, a cookie all done in impasto. Everyone else was just painted. I thought that was interesting. Everybody else was painted. I think it's nice that sometimes I don't really know what I want to talk about. So usually I'll just talk about anything up here. Because I know I'm supposed to talk about, you know, my process and what I do and all that stuff, which is basically what I'm doing. But I think it's nice that, you know, just sharing, just sharing, you know, some stuff with you guys that I learned. And I think it's really nice. I had some really nice art teachers. I will say that. I think it's really nice when I really like art teachers when they're very engaging with the class, even though sometimes they're not all that, uh, the students may not be all that engaging or, you know, they may not say anything. And this is, you know, on my online class. But uh, the art teacher that I have, she was very nice. And, you know, we can stay after, you know, class and talk and whatever. But yeah, I think it was really nice. Lots of tips, lots of tricks. <laughs> also, if it wasn't for uh, my painting class, we learned about Alla Prima, which is a, 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 a painting technique where you don't draw down a sketch, you just draw down, it's like you're sketching with paint, which I think is really nice. And here's the final, almost coming down to the final stretch. I'm coming down to the final stretch, you guys. I think it's funny that with my soft pastels, I didn't know, I really did not know that I could use uh, alcohol or water to, you know, use it. Which I thought that was really cool. And uh, I'm using green, emerald green here. I thought it was really cool. And here's my thumb. My poor thumb. But it looked really cool when it dried. I wish you y'all a picture, but <laughs> it just looked really cool. And then it just started cracking. <laughs> it just started, you know, getting all dry. And then it started cracking. And then I have to like wash it off. But it was just so cool. Like, I just got, like, a bunch of inspiration off of that. Like, it just looks so cool. And it's, like, like, I actually thought about putting, like, my whole hand in, like, impasto, but that's not fun. <laughs> then my whole hand will be all craggly and dry, and I won't be able to move it. Also, another thing that I would like to do is finger paint. Just throw my whole, you know, hand into, like, the paint and get messy. And now I'm adding green. Then we're gonna mix. I feel like that's the only palette knife I always use. It's like the thin ones. I always use like the thin palette knives. It's like I always have that one brush that I like using when it comes to painting. <laughs> and then I just like exclude everything else. It's like, oh, you're supposed to use this. But like, no. I like, I like to stick to one thing and one thing only. I think it's really nice that, you know, a lot of times on YouTube, I see a lot of people who use these, you know, expensive brands of paint. But even though I am using an expensive, you know, off the shelf, you know, materials, 
that are achieved, it still gets the, you know, job done. And I think it's really nice. It's like with colored pencils. A lot of people like these fabric, uh, fabric castells or like Prismacolors or whatever, a new uh, colored pencil brand. But I think it's really nice because I just keep finding like some really cool off, off brand. <laughs> Like, just, like, a bunch of different brands that no one has ever heard of before. And I think it's really nice. I I really like finding a bunch of, like, colored pencils. I'm like, oh, like, that's cool. Like, oh, I like this color. Oh, I, I like the brand. But I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> I have sketched with colored pencils, which that is fun. I think it's really nice that, you know, I don't really have a, a desk. And I think it's because I just appreciate the fact that, you know, I don't have a lot. I don't really have a lot of stuff to do. And also, you know, I'm saving my paints too as well. Because I'm pretty sure now the price of paint is going to go up. And I'm using this, uh aqua green color here also I'm sitting cross-legged because I was sitting on my legs and they were hurting I think it's really nice that you know again I don't really have a lot I don't really have a lot which I think is really nice you know, just do what you have. Just work what you have. I think it's nice that I keep working on this. And also, I think it's really nice that I'm not worrying about how good my work is. Or, you know, it has to be perfect. I think what really kind of messes me up is being a perfectionist. But again, I like everything to be perfect too as well. But I won't say it, you know, I won't say it messes my ability, but I think it kind of hinders the fact that, you know, I'm allowed to make mistakes. Like, I'm allowed to do that. Like, I'm not very good at... Well, I won't say that I'm not very good. It's just that I'm still learning. I am still learning. I think that we're all still, still learning. No matter what pace we are. And I'm always learning a bunch of stuff. Which I think is really nice though. Hey, I'm back. I forgot what I was... Forgot what I was doing. Okay. Because <laughs> I got on the left. Because I, I don't remember. So I'm doing this light pink color. It just looks so bad. 
to me it just looks really bad it's just like a muddy a very muddy grayish color it's a light pink color but it's pretty I think I just like it without the impasto on it I do want to share this which I think is really nice also I think it's really interesting when you go to school now I never really been to an art school because you know I've been seeing a bunch of people be like oh you know my sketchbook got accepted or my sketchbook got you know rejected because they have so many like requirements but um I think it's really interesting that you know, just seeing people's sketchbooks, I think it's really cool. <laughs> Even though it's not about... I don't know. It's just... I Maybe it's just me. Because I think I just never really cared about filling up a page. I don't know. I don't know. But I think it's really interesting that, you know, I got a new sketchbook last Christmas. And... And, you know, I didn't have to worry about, oh, I have to fill up a page. You know, I'm just drawing whatever. Also, I was going to mention about, um... With school, I think it's really interesting how when you're taking a painting class and teachers, they want you to use use expensive brands but I don't have that much <laughs> but somehow I don't really have a lot to pay for these expensive brands but I really do like turning over to the um, you know the less expensive brands because you know again it just gets the job done and I forgot what brand that my teacher made us use But yeah, um, also I'm using gold. We're getting down the final stretch of this and I'm just talking, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just talking. Because you know, I don't, cause somehow I don't really know what to say. Sometimes, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to say a whole lot, you know, just watch me do my work and watch me mindlessly dipping my water in the brush because why did I do that because I don't know why I just be I I just be doing stuff <laughs> I I just be doing stuff like come on now what you doing again back to the whole acrylic thing <laughs> but yeah I just like you know, using an ex it's like cheap. It's like cheap sketchbooks. I don't trust myself around expensive sketchbooks. I don't know why. I don't. I don't know why. Also, speaking of, I really like the uh, Strathmore uh, acrylic one. I think that's really cool. I like the texture. I think that's what I really like. I think the first painting assignment I done, I done it on the um, acrylic. Uh, Strathmore uh, sketchbook thing that they had. They have a lot, which I think is really interesting. And they have one for soft pastels and oil pastel, which I think is really cool. They have so much stuff for your needs. Like, oh, I'm doing the charcoal. Hey, we got charcoal paper for you. Like, oh, I need the. Oh, oh, don't worry, we 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 got that for you. Don't don't worry. <laughs> We got everything. We, we, we got everything, I tell you. Also, I know that actually, when I was planning on this, I was doing this. I was actually pla planning on doing this overhead, like from the top. But then again, um, as I was trying to figure out a way on how to do it, it was just blocking and since I'm doing this on my tablet, yes, I'm recording on my tablet. Uh, yeah, I was worried that my tablet was gonna like fall over and 
land on my canvas and just make like a huge noise so it's like you know let's do it from the side i actually kind of like it from the side i don't know about you guys but i like it and then i'm using this palette knife why i don't know i just picked it up A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. I think all of my work, I think all of my abstract work comes from a bunch of nothing and just having fun. And that's what I actually did. The very first abstract art that I've done really was on Procreate. And I was learning how to do a marble, kind of like, a, like a, uh, a liquid art, kind of like how people do on canvases, where they take the paint, pour it on a canvas, and then, you know, they move it around. But I saw that I could do it on there, and I did it. And I just actually have fun. And I think that's what I did it out of just you know improvising and just having fun as I vandalize my mountain <laughs> now I would show y'all the mountain thing but I'm pretty sure y'all probably must have saw it it wasn't very good I tell you it wasn't very good it was actually a sand dune actually it's not a mountain it was actually a sand dune But what's really interesting is that I took my time and I didn't really rush. There's one, you know, one paint and then like another paint and then that paint. Yeah, I think it's really nice just sitting down and painting. I wish it was raining. And that would be really nice. Like when it rains and then like, you know, you can just paint or draw or whatever. I think it's nice just to take a break from the internet and to draw. But the only app that I will use is Pinterest. Because I like Pinterest and that's where we find all my references from. And I'm just adding more blue. I'm just going around adding blue where I see fit. Like I do to every color. Going around. Really feel what looks nice. But one thing I do like is that, um, you know, you're still seeing little bits and pieces. You're still seeing bits and pieces. So this paint that I have, it's just, uh, you know, some cheap acrylic paint. And we're just drizzling it on. See, isn't that fun? <laughs> and that's it. And I'm gone. Alright, and I'm back. And now I'm messing up with a palette knife. Woohoo. Also, yeah, I just don't let the impasto dry. I feel like impasto takes a long time to dry. But yeah, I'm just going through doing adding some strokes and whatever and we're coming down the final stretch of my process again i just like to start with a bunch of nothing and then create something out of it but it was nice i actually liked how you know it turned out in the end but yeah Honestly, I don't even know why I put my palette knife in the water. I I just don't know why. <laughs> and now we're back. Chilling with my socks on. And my pants on. My lounging pants. <laughs> and we're just... And we're just gonna add more gold paint. So... Uh, here, I'm just going through and just 
adding more acrylic paint to it. And you know, I'm just lathering up my brush and just placing gold wherever I see fit. Now I would do this with emboss though, but then I was like, nah, cause I, I just want the gold to shine. It's a pretty paint color too. Again, I would like to do this with gold leaf, like leave it to dry or whatever. I don't know how gold leaf works. I might find a, uh, a video. It looks pretty though. I think it's really nice that, you know, I'm just doing whatever. I'm not worrying. Now, I would go back and uh, add some white paint to it, but I was like, nah. I think that black line is basically my composition. <laughs> At this point right here, I have my composition. Just this line. But yeah. Maybe I will come up with the title. Because I can't remember the first one that I came up with. I thought about melancholy. The melancholy was like sad. But looking at this painting is not really sad. So what are we being sad for? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's really nice when I let other people interpret the work. Instead of me having to, you know, explain. But I think it's nice too as well. Because you get to explain your thinking. And, you know, your thought process. As, you know, as you're continuing and as you're making. And as we're coming down to the final stretch here. As uh, you guys can see. I'm just adding some more gold here. Not gold, I'm sorry. Some more yellow here. Just placing whenever I see fit. And also, I hope you guys enjoy my process. Even though I talked about, you know, basically nothing but my process. <laughs> but, well, I won't call it nothing. I think I just want to share my thoughts. And just talk about whatever. And yes, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I will be doing more. <laughs> I hope you guys like it though. And I just made a little clip of it. Yep, and that's the final piece. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!